day is it? Sunday the 20th today and uh, I am making my way down to Bristol. Uh, I've got three deliveries to do down Bristol Way. Uh, I'm currently in some services uh, having me 45 minute break. Where am I? Um, near Tamworth um, just before I get on the M42 uh, I've got 110 miles left to go got some breakfast can't really see yeah there we go not advertising them but that's what was here so it will do um, yeah, three deliveries to do today down Bristol. Uh, I've got Sainsbury's, Emerson Green, Asda Raven Mouth, and Morrison's Bridgewater. They're the three deliveries I've got on. Um, started work at two o'clock this morning. It's just coming up to half past six now. So it's good going. So I thought we'd we'll do a different video. Um, obviously, we don't think I've videoed down here before, so Christ, I need a shave. Getting a bit hairy. Here's a tractor here, covered past in the services tractor. Class Arion 640. He was in McDonald's, I just saw him getting his breakfast and all. So, um, still got about half an hour of this uh, 45 minute break. So I'll carry on having my break eating my breakfast, sorting my life out, and then you'll rejoin me when we're on the go. So, uh, <coughs> pardon me. I shall uh, see you all in about half an hour when we're leaving here. to my first delivery. Like I say, it's uh, 110 miles, it's about two and a quarter hours worth of driving. Just get on the M42 now. Um, we come down the A19, the A1, the M18, the M1, and then whatever this A road was that I've just come off. I can't quite remember what it was called. So I do apologise. Um, <coughs> I have been down this way before. Uh, it was a it was a while ago, um, and I don't think I've done these deliveries before. Um, So uh, it's something different once again. We are down, we're going, oh, we're going, um, we're going to go past the area of where CJC operates from, I believe. He comes out of uh, West Midlands area, I believe, don't hold me to that. Um, and then we're going to go down towards where um, 
Luke from Luke's here in a HGV operates from. He comes from down south, Southampton, that sort of way. Um, I know he's not exactly from Southampton, but at Swindon, that's where he comes from around Swindon area. So we're going to skirt past there. So we're going past where all the uh, all the southern YouTube uh, truck bike drivers are, or southern as I count them anyway. Um, yes, we're in the uh, the next gen Scania R450 that we were in on the last video. Um, so it's all hunky dory. She's uh, just as clean as when I parked her up last night. Um, she did go. It did go straight out, uh, but it was back again for this morning for us, uh, which was nice. Because, um, like I say, I just I just spent two days getting her clean and tidy. Um, still got a little bit more, but cleaning to do to her on the outside but she's, she's looking healthy um, we've already done 178 miles this morning well I have so it's a fair old journey from uh, Newcastle down here especially if you say what we've got 108 miles left to go and I've done 178 and that's just to get to the first delivery so it's a it is a fair old distance like I think the sat nav said when I was leaving this morning it was the best part of six hours five five and a half to six hours worth of driving that's not including your brake or any traffic that I may encounter traffic shouldn't be too bad it's a Sunday but you never know so yes steady going sun's up uh, it came up at about four o'clock this morning so as it was coming up that's when the tiredness sets in dusk and dawn um, that's when you feel tired more because the light's there but it's not quite there it always makes me feel a little bit more knackered that's for certain um, so yes still got a heck of a drive ahead of me that's not a problem so uh, I shall um, get on with it um, keep pushing on and I will catch you if something exciting happens if not when we're a little bit closer to the delivery enjoy the power and beauty of your youth oh, never mind you will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade it but trust me in 20 years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future, or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. The real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind, the kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Sing. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead, sometimes you're behind. The race is long. In the end, Tony with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. If you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. 
throw away your old bank statements. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Get plenty of calcium. Be kind to your knees. You'll miss them when they're gone. Maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much. Or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Enjoy your body. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. Well, that's the motorway part of it done. Uh, we're about three and a half miles away now, just coming into Bristol itself, or the outskirts of it, should I say. <clears throat> well, when I say that's the motorway part of it done. Definitely getting close, because there's all the Sainsbury's wagons floating around now. Good journey, easy going, plenty of scenery. Um, had to chuckle at a few cars going through all these smart motorways now. Um, even if the speed signs aren't turned on, the cameras are still active for 70 miles an hour, and people going through them at like 80 miles an hour and they're getting flashed. I don't think they quite realise that the cameras are permanently on. Just when they um, when they slow the speed down on the actual motorway, the um, the camera settings get lower. But if it's set, if it's like 70 miles an hour, then the camera will flash if you're over 70 miles an hour. But didn't bother me because I didn't get flashed but there was a lot of cars going past and you could see the cameras flashing them. Please stay green, please stay green, please stay green. Thank you. Sunny Bristol. Definitely never been to this one before. Don't recognise anything down here, so... We're going... We're just following that wagon in front of us. It's a Sainsbury's wagon, so... We'll just follow him. He'll know where he's going, hopefully. got one behind us as well so we 
definitely going the right way. Definitely. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Ready for bed. Da, 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 da. Maybe I should have gone left there because the Sainsbury's wagon just vanished. Unless he knows a quicker way in. Which is quite possible. Never mind, we'll just keep following the sat nav. Says we go left on this roundabout. Quite 
quite quick in there, 50 minutes. By the time I, that, that was from arriving at the gate to leaving the gate, so obviously I had to book in, I had to sign out, uh, I had to get on my bay, so it's not too bad. And it was seven pallets, I believe they've had. gone five to ten in the morning yeah just gone five to ten and we should be there about 20 past ten so give or take traffic might be a bit worse now in this time of day, everyone's awake. It's all right, we've got loads of time still. Sainsbury's. <coughs> there was a fair few wagons in there. Um, so yeah, Asda is a plus three load as well. Um, and then Morrison's is a plus three and a plus ten load. So, hopefully, I mean, I think the plus 10 is only like two pallets. So, hopefully, they'll just do it all on one bay. Because it's a bit of a pain when they make you go on one bay to get your plus three took off, and then you have to move your wagon onto a different bay to get the plus 10 took off. I mean, it's fair enough, I can understand it if their where two warehouses ain't linked, but it's still an annoyance that I could do without the uh, World War Air bus line, is it? Will not be using a bus lane. I oh, know, it's for two or more people in your vehicle. Definitely not two or more in this vehicle, there's only one. Hey, up speed camera! Smile and wave, boys! Wonder if he's also seeing if there's two or more people in a vehicle then taking photos of them if there's not. Because then technically you're being naughty, ain't you? If there's not more than two of you in a vehicle, then you shouldn't be using the two plus lane. Unless it had time restriction on it, I don't know. Right, it's a two plus lane. So does that mean that there has to be three of you in a vehicle or could two of you do it? 
because if there's two here, there's me and angry Trev in here. So that means we can use the two plus lane. Never seen a two plus lane before. Strange, really strange. Two plus lane, Monday to Friday. Well, we're all right then, aren't we? Because it's Sunday. So I can use it. He was probably just trying to catch people speeding then. Anyway, if anybody stops me, there's me and Angry Trev, plus all of you lot in here as well. How many more people do they want in a vehicle? There's 32 subscribers to my channel, so if we say there's 32, there's 34 of us in this vehicle, technically. Plus God knows how many more that aren't subscribed that watch the video. So yeah, I can use a two plus lane, I reckon. I'm joking by the way, I understand that I can't because you're not actually here and Angry Trev isn't real. But thankfully the 2 plus lane wasn't in use today, so we're alright. Except certain inalienable truths, prices will rise, politicians will philander, you too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund, maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. You never know when either one might run out. Don't mess too much with your hair. Proton cars, but they're not there. 
tire anymore. Oh, I think I've been to this one before. I think. No, maybe not. Just looks like it. Another one that's putting himself in a really stupid position. Bloody co-op wagons. There's one here in front of me and this one next to him's just pulled right up the inside of him knowing that he's going to cut him up. be in an absolute rush because it's Sunday and they're trying to get done so they can get home. Guaranteed that's what they're doing, the pair of them. We're by the docks. I'm pretty sure I've been in. I don't know, I can't remember now. suddenly seen I've got a um, like a saved favourites point on the map down here so I've got to have been down here before otherwise it wouldn't be saved M2 co-op wagons are absolutely hoofing it along here use a 15. 
it's literally just over the road that I've done a collection out of before when I've been down Morrison's Bridgewater. I've only done it twice. Um, first time I got a collection out of that place, second time I didn't um, didn't actually have anything, I don't think. I think I ran all the way back pretty much near as damn it to Weatherby area, empty, and then I had a collection. Um, like I say, it all, all just depends on what's going on. Um, but obviously, as per usual, I'm not going to second guess or try guess it because I'll be wrong. So I shall um, crack on and get us to this next delivery. And um, I shall catch you on the other side. On the time you're 40, it will look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me, on the sunscreen. Jigsaw in search of missing pieces But I wonder what did float above us And what did lie beneath us Cause I know I beat my goals My life is not complete Cause finding you was finding The last and missing piece And yes it's true It's because of you And everything you say I'm making ever with myself to make it never whip my day And I just want you to know Well I had a dream and made it But from it you were free Cause meeting you was better Than any dream could be And all your years of making this world A better place to be I want to thank you for taking the time Spending time with me Spending time with me Right then folks, that's the first part of Morrison's delivery done just got to get out of there now. Um... Right, I'd like to say that's the um, that's the first bit of the delivery done. That's the plus three side. Uh, I've now got to go and get the two pallets of plus ten taken off which are potatoes, potato. Um, it's not that far, it's literally just around the corner. Well, around a few corners like, but it's just around the corner. Um, and we will be going past uh, where I'm planning on spending the night if I stay in this area. Um, so I'll be able to have a look and see how busy it is. Um, it's like a it's like a little offshoot of a road that doesn't get used apart from the exit of coming out of Morrison's, and it's quite like you can normally get parked on it. Um, and there's like a petrol station just round 
literally just the other side of the road. Um, it's got a subway, it's got toilets. Um, so it's it's quite a decent little parky up spot. Um, can be a bit noisy with the the passing through traffic, but it just depends how busy it is and whether I keep the trailer or not. Um, so we're going left here, and basically the building that is that that you'll see just straight in front of you now that big grey building that's where I sometimes get a collection from down here and then this little offshoot to the left hand side that you could just see that's where I like to park up um, there's loads of space in there so if I keep the trailer I'm fine um, and if I don't keep the trailer well it's even better because there's a tiny little pulling bit that I've just gone past you wouldn't have seen it but it's like it's like perfect for just a unit you can't get a trailer in it but you can get a unit um, and it just puts you out of the way a little bit more makes it a little bit quieter um, and this is where we are going it is a little bit tight so I'm just going to push across and tell everyone I'm taking the road and it is just in here so I'll get this delivery done shouldn't take me too long and then you will rejoin me depending what we're doing. Ta-ra!